gotta fall apart. I'ma stand tall for all of us. Cause fade on the phone and he calling us. We came from the ground and we calling up. You can feel it in your fist when you ball it up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown. We are coming to you live from Washington, D.C. for this edition of SmackDown here tonight. And we are going to kick the night off with the Viper, the Apex Predator, the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Randy Orton. In two weeks' time at the Fast Lane pay per view. Randy Orton goes one-on-one -on -one with Cesaro for the WWE Championship. It was last week here on the Blue Brand. Randy Orton defeated John Cena, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Sheamus in a fatal four-way match to become the number one contender. So at Fastlane, can Randy Orton end the reign of Cesaro? Randy Orton is a 14-time world champion. The last time Randy Orton held the WWE title was back in Season 2 of Universe Mode. Randy Orton would lose that title at SummerSlam to Chris Jericho. In season two. Last season at WrestleMania, he won the Intercontinental Championship. And Rand Newton is on the quest for more gold. In two weeks' time at the Fast Lane pay per view, I go one on one with Cesaro. For the WWE Championship. You see last week I had to go through three other men. To get an opportunity at this championship. Now Cesaro has something that I want. And I'm going to get what I want. You see Cesaro is no match for me. Cesaro has never faced a wrestler of my caliber. And at fast lane Cesaro is going down. When I hit him with an R. K. Oh, wait just a second. Cesaro interrupting Randy Orton here. Here comes the Swiss Superman. It was at the Royal Rumble. Cesaro was able to retain against Sheamus in a very brutal Extreme Rules match. But the Swiss Superman is back tonight. Let's hear what Cesaro has to say to the Viper. You know, Randy, I saw what you did last week in that Fatal 4 a match, and I must say I am impressed. And I must say I am excited to be facing off against you at Fastlane for the WWE Championship. And I'm here to let you know, may the best man win. You know, Cesaro, so far you have had an absolutely incredible reign as the WWE Champion. You have defended that title against Shinsuke Nakamura, Brock Lesnar, Rey Mysterio, Sheamus, Austin Theory, you name it. But, come fast lane, you're not going to beat Randy Orton. You see, Randy, one thing about me is I have respect. Especially for a legend of your caliber. And by you saying I'm not going to beat you, that only fires me up even more. To go harder. To train harder. To be the best that I can be. And I know at fast that we're going to put on a banger. But I will remain champion. And I'm walking into WrestleMania as champion. And I'm walking out as champion. You're not going to make it to WrestleMania with that championship if Randy Orton has a say in it. You see, Randy Orton right now is a 14-time world champion. And at fast lane, when I beat you, I'm chasing history. I'm going for 15 world titles. And there's nothing you can do to stop that from happening. Because I'm going to hit you with the most three destructive letters in all of sports entertainment. R-K-O. 
I don't care how many RKO's that you hit on me. I'm gonna kick out of every single one of them because I cannot stay down and I will not stay down. And I'm gonna put you out with that neutralizer and retain my title. Well, Cesaro, come fast lane. I'm wishing you the best of luck because you're gonna need it. And Cesaro, when it's all said and done, you'll always be remembered as Seamus' little puppet. Oh man, folks, that just angered Cesaro. And look at this stare down between the Swiss Superman and the Viper. What a match this is going to be at fast lane. Oh, and now Orange struck at Cesaro. But Cesaro counters here. Now Cesaro taking it to Randy Orton. Oh, there's a jawbreaker by Orton. And Orton with the RKL to Cesaro. The RKO. And folks, Randy Orton just took off that vest. And will this be the scene at Fastlane? Will Randy Orton become a 15-time world champion? Will Randy Orton walk into WrestleMania as the WWE champion? We'll find out in two weeks at the Fastlane pay-per-view. We are back live here tonight in Washington, D.C. for SmackDown. As we are about to have a triple threat tag team match that will determine the number one contenders to the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Out first, here comes a team that we haven't seen here on SmackDown in quite a while. Here comes Team Extreme, Jeff and Matt. Here come the former SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Hardy Boys. The following is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 461 pounds, the Hardy Boys. The winners of this match will face the SmackDown Tag Team Champions Hall of Glory at the Fast Lane pay per view. Hall of Glory had an amazing tag team title defense. At the Royal Rumble against Miz and Morrison. They had an amazing title defense back at No Mercy against this team, the Hardy Boys. Hall of Glory's tag team title run began at SummerSlam when they took the titles from the Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys have not forgotten that. And trust me, they are out for revenge. Here come their opponents first. Here comes The Miz. What a great showing he had against Hall of Glory at the Rumble. And here comes The Miz's tag team partner. Here comes John Morrison. That match at the Rumble was way better than expected. Miz and Morrison looking to get another shot at the tag team titles here tonight. And at a combined weight of 436 pounds, the Miz and John Morrison. I tell you, Miz and Morrison make a pretty good team. A lot of people did not believe in Miz and Morrison. A lot of people looked at Miz and Morrison versus Keith Lee and Mark Henry. That's perhaps the bathroom break match of the Rumble. But that match was one of the best of the night. And that was possibly Hall of Glory's best title defense. But nevertheless, Miz and Morrison came up short. But they have the opportunity to get another shot at the title so they can win this match. And here comes Chad Gable. And is that Otis?
the Alpha Academy. Okay. For a long time, we knew that Jason Jordan was no longer able to compete in the ring. And Chad Gable was all alone looking for a tag team partner. He has found one. And from the looks of it, he has formed the Alpha Academy with Otis. If you all can't remember, when the WWE draft happened, Otis was drafted to NXT alongside Tucker. But Tucker was unfortunately released by the company. So that left Otis without a tag team partner. And since Jason Jordan couldn't compete, Gable was left without a tag team partner. And now these guys have found one another. And they're looking to win this match here tonight. So we got the Hardy Boys versus Miz and Morrison versus Alpha Academy. I'm going to try to keep up with it as much as I can. There's a poison runner by Morrison. And Otis, my goodness, just threw the Miz up like he was nothing. Elbow to Matt Hardy. And now Jeff Hardy with a snapmare off the ropes. There's a drop kick to the Miz. Now Gable taking it to John Morrison. Oh man, what an alley oop face buster by Jeff Hardy. And now Jeff Hardy with a DDT. There's a snap right by the Miz. Miz off the ropes. Well, went for a kick, but Matt Hardy gets out of harm's way. And Matt taking down the Miz. Just to remind you all, the first team to gain a pinfall of submission will become number one contenders. There's a suplex. Another suplex. And now Gabe with a third one. That's a cover on Matt. Shoulders are down. But John Morrison is there to break it up. And Otis with an Irish woman to the corner. There's an exploder by Chad Gable. And now, folks, this ain't good here. John Morrison in the ring along with Alpha Academy. And the Miz on the outside of the ring along with the Hardy Boys. And oh man, I guess Otis told Chad Gable he wants John Morrison. Both Morrison is in trouble and so is the Miz. I don't know if this is unfair or funny. But now Matt Hardy getting into the ring here. And Miz just put Jeff back into the ring. And there's a bear hug by Otis. And Jeff Hardy breaks up that submission. Jeff Hardy was in the Warrior Rumble match. And Miz with some kicks to Chad Gable. What a drop kick. And now it's Otis. With a back suplex on the apron to Jeff Hardy. And look at Miz and Gable going out on the outside of the ring as there's a knee by the Miz. Now it's Jeff Hardy with a suplex onto the floor. There's a strike by Gable. Jeff Hardy with a counter. Now Miz with a sleeper hold. And Matt Hardy gets put back into the ring. German suplex to Jeff. Now Matt Hardy going after the shin of Gable. Oh man. Oh but Otis back to his feet here. And now it's the Miz with a DDT to the Otis. Oh, Otis getting back to his feet. Into the barricade. And there's a leg drop, if I'm not mistaken, by John Morrison. As I said, I'm trying to keep up as much as I can, but there's so much going on that Jeff. Oh!
over the top row taking out Chad Gable. Oh man. With a kendo stick is John Morrison. And now Chad Gable has a chair. Oh, there's a counter by Chad. This match is just pure chaos. Oh, went for a chair shot, but Hardy counters it. And over the top rail goes Hardy and down to the floor. Now Chad is alone in the ring. He has that steel chair. Who's going to dare to get in the ring with, with Gable? And Chad still has the ring to himself. And I Miz and Jeff Hardy going at it. Oh man, eat defeat by the Miz. And now the Miz got to get into the ring and the Miz gets hit with that steel chair. And again, again. Now the Miz, oh man, face first goes Chad Gable. And now it's Jeff Hardy with a D to the Otis. Hooks the leg on Otis. That's two, but Otis kicks out of two. Oh man, what a slam to Morrison. And now Jeff Hardy just hit Morrison with that chair. There's a twist of fate. A twist of fate. But the Miz breaks it up. Oh, Miz. Skull crusher finale. And Chad Gable breaks that up. Into the ring. Into the ring post. Into the turnbuckle, excuse me, as I must say. But there's a counter by the Miz. Counter by Gable. And Otis with a splash. And there's a German suplex. Shoulders down. That's two. But a kick out of two. The Miz kicked out of two. There's a chop to Morrison. Oh, what a knee. There's a kick. Oh, twist the face to the Miz. There's a chop. Hardy standing against the ropes. Chad Gable looking to take advantage. That's two. That's three. Alpha Academy stole the victory. Alpha Academy are the number one contenders. So the stage is set at Fast Lane. Hall of Glory versus Alpha Academy for the titles. Here are your winners, Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable and Otis victorious in their first match together here on the Blue Brand. Congrats to them on becoming number one contenders. We're back live and out on SmackDown as here comes the Intercontinental Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Listen to the booze. The fans just do not like Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley would retain the Intercontinental Championship last week against Daniel Bryan. But after the match, something strange happened. After the match, Bobby Lashley was attacked by the Beast Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar would hit multiple F5s in a shooting star press on the almighty Bobby Lashley. And after Brock did that, Brock held up the Intercontinental Championship. So my guess is Brock Lesnar wants the Intercontinental Championship. Brock Lesnar has never challenged for a mid-card title. Well, let's hear what the almighty Bobby Lashley has to say. 
I am out here tonight to address a situation that happened last week here on SmackDown. You see, last week, when I beat Daniel Bryan to retain my Intercontinental Championship, I was attacked by the Beast Brock Lesnar. Now, I want Brock Lesnar to come down to this ring because we need to set some things straight. We need to get to business. And folks, wait just a second. That is not Brock Lesnar. That is the Animal Batista. Batista and Lashley know each other very well. As they had an incredible matchup a few weeks ago here on SmackDown. But I'm curious to know what does the Animal want here tonight? Bobby Lashley defeated Batista in that matchup they had a few weeks ago. That was a number one contenders match. And Lashley will go on to win the Intercontinental title. But nevertheless, let's hear what Batista has to say. Bobby, I'm not Brock Lesnar. But Brock Lesnar is not the only one you have unfinished business with. You see, the only reason you're the Intercontinental Champion is because you beat me. So I'm the fault of that. But I want to make things right. So I'm coming after the Intercontinental title. <sighs> Batista, I have already beaten you. So get to the back of the line. Daniel Bryan even beat you at TLC. So I don't even know why you're still chasing the Intercontinental Championship. You will never, ever win it. You know, one thing you're not going to do is doubt Batista. Is the people doubted me. When I came here, and people still doubt me today, but I tell you what, you put the Intercontinental title on the line against me, and I guarantee you, I'll beat you and take the title. You're not getting a title opportunity. This is between me and Brock Lesnar. So I want you to get to the back of the line. You don't even deserve to be out here right now. I called out Brock Lesnar, not you. So get out of here, Batista. Oh, uh, speaking of Brock. Here comes Brock. The Beast does not look happy. If anything, the Beast looks angry. Let's see what Brock Lesnar has to say to these two men in the ring. I hate you, Bobby. But one thing I can't agree with you on is that Batista doesn't deserve a title opportunity. I beat Batista as well. So Batista needs to leave so you and I can finish our business. You know, Brock, I'm not going anywhere. I'm a man just like you. If you have a problem with me, we can go in this ring right here, one-on-one, -on -one, live, tonight, here on SmackDown. You know, I can't stand either one of you guys. And if both of y'all want this Intercontinental Championship, then both of y'all can have it. I'm willing to put my title on line against both of you all. If you want to, we're going to have a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship right now. No, we're not doing a triple threat match. Not tonight. Not ever. I'm getting a one-on-one -on -one match against you for that Intercontinental Championship, and I don't care what anyone has to say about it. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. You know, here on SmackDown, we don't settle things with talking. We have quite a dilemma going on. Batista wants the Intercontinental Championship match. Bobby Lashley wants revenge on Brock Lesnar for attacking him last week. Lesnar wants the IC title. We got a pay-per-view in two weeks. We're on the road to WrestleMania, so we're going to spice things up. Perhaps the biggest triple threat match in WWE history. Batista, Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, IC title at Fastlane. Oh man, folks, what an announcement. Lashley will defend against Batista and Lesnar at Fastlane. And Batista wastes a little time going after Brock with a shoulder tackle. And there's a kick by Batista. And Batista, like he's sending a statement to Lashley with the Batista bomb to Lesnar. Lashley drops the title, and Lashley with a spear to Batista. Oh my goodness. 
Brock Lesnar wanted a one on one match. But the general manager, Stone Cold Steve Austin, just said that we're going to have a triple threat match at Fastlane for the title. That's going to be a huge triple threat match for the IC title. The road to WrestleMania just keeps on getting bumpier and bumpier and bumpier. Like, that's a blockbuster triple threat match. Lesnar, Lashley, and Batista in the same ring? Come on now. But nevertheless, let's get back to reality here on SmackDown. Here come Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. This is a number one contenders match for the women's tag team titles. The winners of this match will face the champions damage control at Fastlane for the titles. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay are the inaugural women's tag team champions here in Universe Mode. They won those titles at WrestleMania last season. Tonight, they go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some familiar foes in Fire and Desire. This should be a great tag team matchup to the time of the number one contenders. Here come Mandy Rose. And Sonya Deville, fire and desire. Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose. These two teams collided back at the Backlash pay-per-view for the women's tag team titles. The Iconics will come out with the victory. Come on, let's go. Damage Control knocked off Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. At the Royal Rumble to become champions. And that fast lane, Bailey will defend her SmackDown Women's title against AJ Lee. So Billy Kay is going to start this match against Sonya Deville. This match is officially underway. As a strike by Billy. Strike by Sonya. Strike by Billy. And Billy with a clothesline. Now Billy Kay with some kicks to Sonya Deville. Now Billy Kay unloading on Sonya Deville right here. But there's a kick by Deville. And Deville going right after the knee of Billy Kay. And that knee has definitely become a target for Sonya Deville. There's a kick. There's a strike. Now Billy Kay, oh my goodness, that's pushing Sonya Deville. I didn't know Billy Kay had that much power. There's a strike. Deville with a snapmare. And there's a knee right to the back. There's an Irish whip. Tag to Mandy Rose. There's a kick. Now Mandy taking it to Billy Kay with Billy Kay with an elbow. And that's Billy Kay. Snap suplex. Shoulders down. And Sonya Deville comes in and breaks up the pin. There's a kick. And there's a strike. Irish whip. Tag to Peyton Royce. Oh man. Mandy's face coming right off the boots. Of Peyton Royce. I went for a double foot stomp, but Mandy Rose gets out of harm's way. There's a clothesline over the top rope. 
And I find that we are going to put Peyton Royce back into the ring. There's a knee by Mandy Rose. Now Mandy Rose is going to taunt with Peyton Royce back up. And Peyton Royce taking down Mandy Rose. There's a kick. There's a suplex. And to the cover here is Royce. Shoulders are down. That's two, but a kick out of two. There's a strike. Look at the power. Fall away slam there by Mandy Rose. There's an elbow. Ah, oh, cheap shot by Sonya Deville. And another fall away slam. Tag to Billy Kay. Billy Kay with a kick. Oh, look at Billy Kay dropping Mandy Rose. But Sonya Deville immediately breaks up the pin. There's a strike. Start right to the chest. There's a strike. Another strike. Oh, oh, what a face buster. That was incredible. Shoulders are down. That's two. Kick out that two by Billy. Over the top it goes Billy Kay. But Billy Kay with a counter. And Billy Kay coming back in. Oh, what a punch by Billy Kay. And there's a kick. Face first into the corner. Tag. Double Irish whip. Double flapjack. Face first goes Billy Kay. Went for a knee, but that was countered. Oh, man, what a hit. This is a takedown. And to the corner. Body slam. Billy K to the middle rope. There's a splash. But Billy K may have hurt herself in the process. At least Billy K is back up before Sonya. There's a tag to Peyton Royce. There's a strike. Back and forth we go. Elbow. That's a chop. Oh man, what a combination. My Sonya Deville. Shoulders are down. That's two, but a near fall. Look at this belief on the face of Sonya Deville. There's a strike. Irish whip. Oh, look at this Luthez press. There's a strike. And to the corner. There's a tag. Double Irish whip. Double back body drop. Uh-oh. There's one suplex. There's two. And Peyton Royce executes the Venus fly trap. Shoulders are down. That's two. Kick out of two. But at the same time, Sonya would have broken that pin. So a win-win situation for fire and desire. Kick by Mandy. Oh man, there's a counter. Spins her around. Hey, Rush, perhaps going for the final cut. But there's a counter by Mandy Rose. Oh, roll up here. Shoulders down. That's two, but a kick out of two. There's a strike. I was ripping into the corner. Tag. 
Diamond X handle. That's a strike. Oh my goodness! Man, the Rose is folding up Billy Kay. But Payne Royce immediately broke up that pin. That's a strike by Billy. And Billy just throwing Mandy Rose. Strike by Rose. Oh, what a counter by Billy. And that's Billy Kay. What a brain buster. Hooks the leg. Masonia DeVille breaks up that pin. Kick by Mandy. Oh, there's that knee. Into the cover. Shoulders down. But Payne Royce breaks it up. That could have been the end of the match if it wasn't for Payne Royce. There's a tag. There's a strike right to the gut. There's an elbow. And Billy Kay with a big boot. Into the cover. Would that be enough? But uh, Mandy Rose breaks it up there. And there's a strike. These two ladies just going back and forth in this ring. There's a shot. Into the corner. Tag to Royce. Oh man, sending Sonya Deville right into the corner. There's a chop. Uh oh, Sonya Deville. Oh man, I think she, she was going for that slam. But there's a counter. German suplex. And over the top it goes Mandy Rose. Not Billy Kay. And Mandy Rose going out on the outside of the ring. Went for a kick. Well, there's a kick by DeVille. There's a strike. These two ladies just going back and forth. Oh, right, look at this. Triangle. The triangle. Is Payne Rose going to tap out? The triangle is locked in. But Payne Royce breaks that submission. But there's a strike. Uh-oh. Sonny DeVille with that slam. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two, but just barely. What a near fall. There's a stun right to the arm. Tag to Mandy. And Mandy with a knee. And there's a punch. And there's a drop kick. And Mandy rolls. Rolls it outside of the ring. Now Mandy gets back in. There's a punch. Counter by Royce. Back and forth we go. Uh oh. Payne Royce. Final cut. The final cut to Mandy. Down goes Sonya. Into the cover. Would that be enough to put away Mandy Rose? No, Mandy Rose just barely kicked out of two. Irish whip. Tag. Diving axe handle. So far, what a great tag team match. This has been. There's a big boot. Big boot. Shut us down, but Sonya to be a back into the mix to break it up. If it wasn't for Sonya to be a, this match would more than likely be over. There's a drop kick by Mandy. I tell you, fire and desire in the Iconics. They just bring out the very best in each other. And Mandy Rose again, just folding up Billy Kay. But Peyton Royce breaks up the pin. I tell you, both of these teams 
at this point proving that they are ready to face damage control for the title. But it's going to come down to who wants it more as Billy Kay just slams Mandy Rose. But Sonya Deville always going to come through. There's a strike. There's a kick. Uh-oh. Rose. Bed of roses. Peyton Royce breaks it up. Now Mandy Rose is going to taunt. Tag to Sonya Deville. Went for a kick where that was countered. That's a strike. That's a chop. That's a strike. Another counter by Billy. So I blocked, bro, but Billy K got that strike, but there's a kick. These two ladies are going back and forth. Big boot! The big boot! Now to the top of his Billy K. Billy K drops the elbow. Into the cover. That, oh, but Mandy Rose breaks it up just before the referee can count two. But well, over the top goes Rose. Oh, wait a minute. There's that slam to Billy K. Shoulders down. That's two. That's three. Fire in his eye to get the win. Peyton Royce and Mandy Rose were on the outside battling. And Sonya Deville took advantage. Right there for the one, two, three. But this was one heck of a match. So both the stage is set. Fire and Desire versus Damage Control at Fast Lane. Trust me, Damage Control. They were watching this match closely. And this is what they're going to have to face come fast lane. Congrats to Mandy and Sonya on becoming number one contenders here tonight on SmackDown. It is main event time here tonight in Washington, D.C. As here comes Mr. A-Town down. Here comes Austin Theory. It was last week on SmackDown. Austin Theory was out running his mouth. And he said something about Rey Mysterio and out came Dominic Mysterio. And then Theory and Mysterio got to Brawling and Theory will hit the A-Town down on Mysterio. And then Rey Mysterio came down to the ring with a kendo stick and attacked Theory. And the Mysterios were standing tall. And I can confirm at Fastlane, it's going to be Rey Mysterio versus Austin Theory. It ain't no disqualification match. But before Fastlane, before Theory can get to Rey, he must go through his son, Dominic. And here comes Dominic Mysterio. And there he is. Dominic Mysterio is here. This should be one heck of a match between Dominic Mysterio and Austin Theory. A few weeks ago, Austin Theory would face Rey Mysterio one-on-one -on -one here on SmackDown. And after the match, Theory would attack Rey with a kendo stick. So Rey is out for revenge. As at fast lane, Rey and Austin will meet in a no disqualification match. One thing about Dominic, he loves his father. And he happily represents the Mysterio name.
So we got Austin Theory and Dominic Mysterio. Referee rings the bell, and here we go. Struck by Theory. Struck by Mysterio. And now Theory with a shooting star press. And I apologize for that cut in our broadcast. I'm not sure what happened there. That's a shot. That's a strike. And now Dominic with a DDT. Shoulders are down. That's two, but a kick out of two. What a strike. That's a strike by Dom. Oh, what an elbow by Mysterio. Now, Dominic just standing on Austin Theory. That's a stomp. Kick to the back. And now, Dom, what a moonsault. Shoulders down. That's two, but a near fall. And Theory has to roll to the outside of the ring. And Dom with a splash to the outside of the ring. There's a kick. And Theory sends Mysterio into the barricade. Now back first into the barricade goes Dominic. Look at the power of Theory. Gut wrench on the floor. Now Theory gonna flex. There's a shot. There's a kick. Now Dominic with a springboard drop kick. There's a forearm. Oh, uh, Austin Theory. What a brain buster. Shoulders are down. That's two, but a kick out of two by Dom. That was a near fall. That was close. There's a forearm. There's a clothesline. Now Dom with some punches right to the face of Austin Theory. There's a strike. Now Theory, look at this. Oh, what a slam. Would that be enough? That's two, but a kick out of two. Now Theory getting frustrated. Oh, look at Mysterio. He catches him here, and folks. Again, we apologize for the cut in the broadcast. I'm not sure what's going on. As Mysterio just hit that 619. That's two, but a near fall. There's a forearm. And now going to the knee is Austin Theory. Now slamming that knee down to the mat with authority. There's a kick. There's a strike. And now Dom sends Theory flying. And Theory has to roll to the outside of the ring. Now Dominic over the top row taking out Theory. There's a kick. Into the ring post goes Dominic. And now it's Theory with a gut wrench. There's a strike. Now Dom with a snapmare. Off the ropes. There's a drop kick and that busted Austin Theory wide open. That must feel good for Dominic. But there's a strike by Theory. Irish whip. Clothesline into the corner. And now it's Theory with the blockbuster. Hooks the leg. Would that be enough? To put away Mysterio. No, Mysterio kicks out at two. There's 
There's a kick. What a swinging neck breaker by Mysterio. Strike by Theory. Oh, man. Theory was just going to knock Mysterio out cold. Now, Theory to the top. Splash, but nobody home. And now, Dominic taking advantage here with a suplex. Wait a minute, he's not done. That's two. And Dominic paying homage to the late great Eddie Guerrero with the three amigos. That's two, but a kick out of two. Strike by Theory. Now it's Austin Theory with the final cut. Will that be enough to put out Dom? No, Dominic kicks out. There's a strike. Strike by Theory. Oh man, look at this. Dominic here. Reversing Austin Theory. I think Theory may have been thinking A-Town down. And Mysterio taking it to Theory here. There's a knee. Elbow by Theory. There's a strike. Kick. Iris whip. What a hip toss. But Theory rolls to the outside of the ring. There's a sense on. Back into the ring we go. What a kick by Theory. Oh, Theory. He has Dominic. There's the Ataxia. Shoulders down. That's two. Dominic kicked out of the Ataxia. Man, Shannon, fight forever. That's what these two just may do. Ah, oh, should have been to the corner. That's a clothesline. And now Dominic. What a DDT. That might be enough. Shoulders are down. That's two, but a kick out of two. There's a counter by Theory. Theory with a kick. There's a DDT. And now Austin to the top. Austin Theory. There's that splash. He missed it earlier. He got it that time. Mysterio at two. There's a kick. And now look at Dominic. What an arm drag. There's a kick. Struck by Theory. Oh man, what a driver by Theory. Shoulders are down. That's two, but a near fall. What a strike. Spine Buster. Would that be enough? To put out theory? No, a near fall. There's a kick. Iris whip. Now Austin Theory with a Spanish fly to Dominic. Would that be enough? That's two, but a near fall. I agree with the fans. This has been an awesome main event so far between Mysterio and Theory. But there's a strike by Theory. Mysterio striking back. Uh-oh, Mysterio. Dial it up. 619. Now Dominic climbing to the top. 
Dominic Mysterio with the frog splash. Would that be enough to put away Austin Theory? No, he kicks out at two. Dominic Mysterio almost had Theory right there. The attacks here failed to put away Dominic. The frog splash fails to put away Theory. Now Theory, oh my goodness. Shoulders down. That's two, but a near fall. Austin Theory is so impressive, I'll tell you that. Now Mysterio using the ropes to pull himself up. Iris whip. Clothesline into the corner. And now Theory with that blockbuster. Oh, what a knee by Theory. Now Theory gonna taunt. There's a strike. Shot. Strike by Mysterio. Mysterio with a clothesline. Another clothesline. Now that's Dominic building momentum right here. Springboard moonsault. Hooks the leg. Will that be enough to put away Theory? No, a near fall. What an elbow. And there's a drop kick. I just punch in the face. And face first goes Theory. There's a kick. What a shot. Another shot. There's a strike. Uh-oh. Dominic has him again. Dial it up. 619. Dominic could be about to put away Austin Theory. There's a frog splash. Shoulders down. That's two, three, no, a near fall. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a kind of a theory. Off the ropes here. What a clothesline turning Dominic inside out. There's a strike. Oh, what a counter by Theory. Now, Theory, we're A Town down to Dominic. Shoulders down. That's two. That's three. Austin Theory picks up the victory. Folks, what a match. What a main event. As Austin Theory gains momentum going into his no disqualification match against Rey Mysterio at Fast Lane. I'll tell you, fast lane is shaping up to be one heck of a pay-per-view. Dominic brought everything he had. But it just wasn't enough. And what is Theory doing here? Looks Austin Theory is ripping apart the announce table. There's a strike. And Dominic just went through a hard fought war with Theory. And now Theory just being a sore winner. Now Theory gonna taunt. This is his ego I'm talking about. Oh no. Theory. With the TKO through the announce table. Folks, we're out of time. We'll see you tomorrow night for NXT. This is ridiculous theory.